No matter how much time you have in New York, it's really fun to take little bites of the Big Apple. Carol Weston, author of Melanie in Manhattan, says the city is a tween's paradise. Melanie Martin can be your personal tour guide. Melanie Martin is a New York City girl with a little brother, Matt the Brat, an art teacher mom, a history buff dad, and she is lucky enough to go traveling around. Melanie may be a fictional character, but oh, the places she's been. She'll take you on a whirlwind tour right in your own backyard. Melanie Manhattan actually has a really cute map right in the beginning, so in some ways it does double as a guidebook. Melanie shows us how New York landmarks aren't just for tourists. And they go to the Central Park Zoo. I personally love the Central Park Zoo. It is in the middle of Manhattan, and you can go for half an hour, you can go for the day. They go to a Broadway show. It costs a little more, but it's always fun to do that. Having fun on the Big Apple doesn't have to break the bank. Melanie and friends found a great way to get the best view of the city for free. I mean, the Staten Island Ferry is free. It's a great way for tourists or New York City kids to see uh, Statue of Liberty up close and personal. Another often forgotten fabulous freebie, the Brooklyn Bridge. And kids love it. I mean, older kids, you can walk all the way to Brooklyn and have an ice cream cone or have a pizza. But even littler kids, you can walk kind of halfway there and just get a view that you've never had, probably, of New York and feel like you're in the middle of the air. For the young culture vulture, New York City is a one-stop shop for everything art. From MoMA to the Met, there are dozens of museums to keep the little ones entertained. A lot of kids respond to Magritte and Dali and Frida Kahlo and Picasso and some of the more modern art. Melanie's greatest discovery, a secret treasure hidden behind the walls of the Donnell Library Center, part of the New York Public Library. Most kids know Winnie the Pooh as sort of this Disney yellow character with a, you know, a red jacket, but the real original Winnie the Pooh, who's you know, a hundred-year-old dusty stuffed animal that belonged to Christopher Robin, son of A.A. Milne, is right there with Kanga, Eeyore, Roo, and Tigger. So that's really a great combo with MoMA.